it feels better. <laughs> Just that much off. Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I sat down in the chair and I said to Jim, is that centered right? Because, you know, I'm one of those people that if the picture's just a tad off, I notice it. Or if the thing is just a tad off, I notice it. Have you ever taken those tests? This, this just came to my head just now. I didn't know what I was going to talk about. But have you ever taken those tests where they say what, if you can see the difference of something in the picture? And um, I usually get them right. Mr. Brown is really talking a lot. He saw me walk by. And I thought of shutting the door, and then I thought, eh, it's pretty warm. Um, today was, I just got done with my, just got done with my comments. I took only a short break when my sister called me on um, FaceTime. She FaceTimed me, and she said, are you bored today? Because yesterday I called her when I was bored. And I said, no, I was working on my comments, but I, I will have a cup of coffee with you. So... I got myself a cup of coffee, and she has a cup of coffee, and we talk about whatever we feel like talking about. But we're FaceTiming. We're not actually on the, on the phone. You would not see. And so she could show me, like we were talking about her bamboo plants, and my bamboo plants doing real well. And hers looks like it's dying, but yet it's still growing. So she doesn't know. But mine's looking beautiful. Then um, I said to Jim, I said, you know, I brought Mr. Brown outside for dust bathing, which I will show you in a little bit, not just yet. Um, <laughs> not yet. And when I brought him back in, I noticed how bad his cage looked. So he's got his cage outside, and he's he used a wire brush on it. Mm -hmm. Wire brush on it to... Power power wire brush. A power wire brush because it's got a lot of rust on the cage. The cage used to be a guinea pig cage and the guinea pigs when they pee they they have a lot of um, probably acid in their pee. I don't know what it is but they're stinky. They're real stinky mm. animals. Especially ammonia or something. Something is in them. And, but it, and the cage was stored outside on the porch and that cage actually both cages were and the one cage is really bad. That's the one I want to put Mr. Brown in because it's a bigger cage and it's taller. And that's the one I want him in. And so he took that cage outside and he used the power wire brush, wire brush. on it. And he was trying to paint it, but the we, we didn't have enough paint on it to do it. So we took a little ride to the store. We had to go to Walmart to get my um, half and half milk. I says, we might as well get my milk while I'm out. I have four containers, but you know, I don't like to run out. So we got six more. So now I've got ten. And uh, the kids are coming Monday and Tuesday. I'm going to be having the kids. So if, if Laura remembers to bring the milk, then we'll be fine. If not, they'll be drinking some of my half and half because they do like it. And so we, we got the paint, and then he finished painting the cage so it'll look nice, but we're going to leave it outside because I said, will it have any fumes? And he said he didn't think it had many, but let's let it just sit a little bit so I don't kill Mr. Brown with the exhaust of the paint. So his cage will look brand new again because it was really bad. Newer. Newer. Well, it'll look brand new to me. It's not It's not brand new. It's an old cage. It's a cage that I had with my guinea pigs when I had guinea pigs a long time ago. A long, long time ago. <laughs> that brought a song. <laughs> but I don't know it very well, so I won't sing it. Uh, <laughs> all I know is the first two words, the long, long, long ago. <laughs> And that's what you were doing in Walmart, was you were I was singing, singing inside your shield. In my shield. I have a shield, and, you know, nobody else can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> so I was singing. I says, I was singing, Oompa Loompa Doopa Da Dee, I've got a special message for thee. Oompa Loompa Doopa Da Doo, I've got a special message for you. Dupa da -di. <laughs> I don't know the rest of the song. Emily would know it, but I don't know it. And I probably did the first part wrong, but the Oompa Loompa is what I was singing. 
And I've got from the old movie. She knows the other one from the new movie, and she knows the old movie, too. I don't remember. I don't know. All I know is I've watched it. It's, it's um, somebody in the Chocolate Factory. Um, Charlie in the Chocolate Factory? No. Charlie. It's um, Willy Wonka. Willy in the Wonka Chocolate in the Factory. Chocolate Factory. That's the movie, in case you're wondering where this Oompa Loompa came from. <laughs> Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. And Charlie is the boy that gets the... Golden go ticket. His grandpa gets the golden ticket or he gets the golden ticket? He I don't gets remember. It. I he, haven't watched it in so long. He gets the golden ticket well, and takes grandpa with him. That's right. He never got out of bed, but boy, he got out of bed for that. I'd <laughs> get out of bed for that, too, to go and this adventure. Um, so that's what I did today. And because... I just got done with the comments. I haven't had a chance to crochet. I've watched a, uh, quite a few videos, actually, because as I'm commenting, the person that comments, I will go to their video, I'll watch the video, and then I'll come back and finish commenting, or I'll listen. If it's somebody's video that is just talking, I can listen. I don't need to see everything unless I like to see it. Then I back them up a little bit and say, oh, what did they just show? I want to see. But if it's just talking, I, I like those, which kind of makes me sort of sad because this next part is not talking. Well, it is a little talking, but if you have time, I hope you have a cup of coffee with this whole video because you're going to need it. It's about, it's about five minutes long, I think, the last part. I'm going to put the little video in of Mr. Brown taking a dust bath. I had, I had a different camera, and then I had to come in the house and get the... GoPro because um, I actually deleted a little bit off of the iPad. I was iPod. I was trying to figure out how to do it, and I ended up deleting it, so it's gone. But uh, the one on the GoPro is there. So let's go to that video, and I hope you enjoy. And I'll see you in a, when it's done. Mr. Brown. Are you underneath there? I don't see you. I don't know. I can't tell. Come out. Where are you? Come on. Come on. Dust in the dust. Give you lots of dust. You're throwing the dust around pretty nicely. Nothing like scratching in the dirt. There you go. Give you a nice little pile of dust. You want to scratch a little more? Are you done scratching yet? Are we done? See his wing production? Getting some wings on the top. It's getting some, whoa. It's getting some shoulder wings. I was asked how long hen, um, the mother hen stays with the babies, usually eight weeks. Then after that, they start to distance themselves from the babies. And then the babies have to find their own pecking order because when they're young, the mother protects them and lets them eat with everybody. But then when they get a little bit bigger, they kind of stand back and wait to be invited to dinner or to breakfast or whatever they're doing. They have to stand back, even at scratch time. When I'm throwing the scratch, some of them will stay back and if an older one comes in, or a one of, that's a higher ranking comes in, they back off, and or they get chased off, one of the two. Well, Mr. Brown, this has been fun watching you. I hope the people enjoy watching Mr. Brown. I hope they enjoy watching you do your dusting. And you're picking at your feathers, 
I'm sure there's little bugs or something that you find or little stones and that's good for you because you need to eat a few stones. been taping for a long time, Mr. Brown. Okay, let's go. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Ah, you don't want to go. You want to come? No? Okay. Well, you know, I'm getting tired of being out here. Are you ready? Let's go. You coming? You gotta find the door. And you ready? Up, man, a boy. And in you go. There you go. You get yourself a drink or some food. Can you imagine using dirt to get yourself clean? Well, that's what the chickens do. The other day when I was holding him, he was doing his little dust bathing, like trying to take a dust bath in the towel that was on my lap. So I thought today we would give it a try and see if he would dust bathe. And he sure did. He liked it. In fact, the um, when he's under my bench is because one of the other hens had come out and scared him and he ran under the bench. So that's why he was under the bench for a few minutes. He was out and about and then he ran under. So... I'll see you all. That's that's it. I'm done. <laughs> I know. I'll see you all tomorrow. So you take care. Bye-bye.